What's up guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. Gonna be going over all of the leaked information about the survival mode overhaul and changes coming to Fallout 4 in the future. Maybe about a month or a month and a half down the road, depending on how long it takes for Bethesda to test it, make sure it is working properly. This is all information that was posted on Reddit about a day ago and was extracted from in-game files on PC. I'm gonna do my best to get through it as quick as I can as I know this kind of video can be boring to some. If you guys just wanna do something else while listening, that's that's fine. I'll also put a link to the Reddit post down below if you guys want to just go check it out instead. Uh, if that's the case, then I hope that you'll still take a second to drop a like on the video before you go. Uh, but anyone who wants to stick around, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, for saving, manual and quick saving are disabled. To save your game, you'll need to find a bed and sleep for at least an hour. Combat is more lethal for everyone. You now deal but also take more damage. You can increase the damage you deal even further with adrenaline, which we will get to in a second. Fast travel is actually disabled. If you wish to be somewhere, you'll have to physically travel there. That's that's going to be definitely a big factor. Uh, weighted ammo. Bullets and shells now all have a small amount of weight, which varies by caliber. Heavier items such as fusion cores, rockets, and mini nukes can really drag you down. Compass. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled as enemies will no longer appear on your compass. As well, the distance at which locations of interest will appear has been significantly shortened. Then for Adrenaline, which I just said something about in regards to combat, Survival automatically grants the Adrenaline perk which provides a bonus tier damage output. Unlike other perks, the only way to increase your rank of the Adrenaline perk is by getting kills, hostile or otherwise. The higher your Adrenaline rank, the higher the damage bonus. Sleeping for more than an hour, however, will cause your Adrenaline rank to lower. You can check your current Adrenaline rank at any time in the perk section on the stat tab in your Pip-Boy. Wellness. You'll find it difficult to survive without taking proper care of yourself. You must stay hydrated, fed, and rested to remain combat ready. Going for extended periods of time without food, water, or sleep will begin to adversely affect your health. Hurting your special stats, adding to your fatigue, uh, lowering your immunity, and eventually even dealing physical damage to you. Now for fatigue, it works like radiation but affects your action points or AP for short rather than your hit points or HP for short. The more fatigue you've built up, the less AP you'll have for other actions. The amount of fatigue you've accumulated is displayed in red on your AP bar. Uh, for sickness here, a comprised immune system and a few questionable decisions can end up getting you killed. Eating uncooked meat, drinking unpurified water, taking damage from disease-ridden sources such as ghouls and bugs, or using harmful chems all put your body at increased risk for various ill effects. When you are afflicted with an illness, a message will appear on screen. You can view specifics about your current illnesses by navigating to the status selection, uh, or sorry, section on your Pip Boys data tab to view your active effects. On the flip side of sickness, though, we do have antibiotics, which can be crafted at chem stations or purchased from doctors, and that, of course, heal the various effects of sickness. Bed types, the type of bed you're sleeping in, determines the length of time you are able to stay asleep. A sleeping bag will save your game and may help save your life when you're desperate, but it will never allow for a full night's rest and the benefits that come with it. Crippled limbs will no longer auto-heal after combat and will remain crippled until healed by a stim pack. Carry weight. Exceeding your carry weight reduces your endurance and agility stats and periodically damages your legs and health. Companions will no longer automatically get back up if down during combat and will return home if abandoned without being healed. Enemy and loot repopulation. Locations you've cleared will now repopulate enemies and loot at a significantly slower rate. So that's all the information that got leaked about the survival mode overhaul and changes coming to Fallout 4. Bethesda actually did take recognition of this on Twitter and even tweeted out the rest Reddit thread, which I thought was pretty cool, giving everybody an opportunity who follows them on Twitter anyway to see the thread and uh, all the information about the things that are coming to survival mode. They did basically say there was going to be a couple other things that were coming along with it, but all of this stuff is likely to be the bulk of changes that are coming to survival mode, and it is definitely quite a bit. It's going to most certainly make the difficulty a lot harder, which it should be. It's survival mode, the hardest difficulty in the game. I'm really interested in trying this out for myself. Maybe I'll do some streaming 
of it or some videos for it if you guys would be interested in either definitely let me know uh, but yeah give me your guys thoughts on all of these changes let me know what you're excited about if you think that some of these things are a bit too much such as the whole saving thing or not being able to fast travel I'm sure at least a couple of you guys will have a bit of a gripe with that as is you know completely understandable but again this is survival mode the hardest difficulty it is not for the faint of heart again though let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this and uh, I'm definitely going to be curious to see what all of you are feeling that's going to be it for this video though everyone if you have enjoyed or found it informative feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more fallout 4 videos to come thanks for watching everyone and peace out